we have the ability to have so many more people that want our properties than properties available, we can really comb through these tenants and really put them through the ringer and really try to reduce our risks, right? Reduce those statistical risks that happen with Section 8 investing, right? Just uh, that the United States of America is the greatest country on earth. It's kind of weird that they just left it hanging there, though. Like, how long has this been vacant? Yeah. Like, you've been looking at the footage. You could tell the current investor, right, they, like, renovated some of it, and then they kind of stopped, right? You got to put, like, I don't know, 20, 25K back into this thing. Yeah, if you're, like, super into pallets, this is a property for you. There's, like, 100 bucks for the pallets there. So I'm just kidding. I'm not high on chronic right now. Or am I? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Youngstown, Ohio, y'all. That is a place I need you guys to put in your brain, okay? Youngstown has a Section 8 housing shortage, okay? What does that mean, y'all? That means we got... This many motherfuckers trying to move into Section 8 houses, and we only got this many motherfuckers renovating and renting out Section 8 houses, okay? When this amount of motherfuckers is higher than this amount of motherfuckers, that is a supply and demand problem that benefits me, and it benefits you guys, right? Because that means, y'all... The ball is in our court. That means we're going to maximize the amount of rent we get. We're going to have the ability to ultra screen our tenants, right? We can be incredibly diligent and really comb through the tenant base, right? And have our pick of who we want to live there, right? Now, we all know. And if we don't all know, we all should know. And if you don't know, you better subscribe to Holton Wise TV because I'm going to learn you that Section 8 tenants historically, statistically, right? They're rough. They're high risk, okay? They gonna jack up your shit, okay? That happens, guys. Take a look at what we do here on Holton Weiss TV, right? I've sold $200 million worth of this kind of stuff all through Ohio, okay? Cincinnati, Columbus, Toledo, Cleveland, Akron, Canton, here in Youngstown. All these markets, right? They're all basically the same when it comes to the Section 8 tenants, okay? They're rough. They're tough. That's part of the game, guys, okay? Watch the content we put out if you don't know what, what you got to, like, you know, train yourself to understand and deal with, right? That's, that's, that's the name of the game, okay? You're going to be dealing with a lot of that stuff. That's why it's so important, and I'm so high right now on Youngstown, okay? I'm so Friggin' high on Youngstown and Chronic because it is totally legal. I'm just kidding. I'm not high on Chronic right now. Or am I? You don't know. But it wouldn't matter because it's legal. It's not illegal, y'all. That's another thing we got going on in Ohio. But I'm digressing. Back to what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to say to you guys, though, is we have our pick, right? We have the ability to have so many more people that want our properties than properties available, we can really comb through these tenants and really put them through the ringer and really try to reduce our risks, right? Reduce those statistical risks that happen with Section 8 investing, right? And you could really only do that when you're in a location where there is way more supply I'm sorry, way more demand, rather, must be the chronic, way more demand than there is, so my freaking videographer, dude, he's in the back laughing, because, like, unlike me, he really is fucking high right now. Like, this kid is just blasted all day, just pounding out YouTube videos. I say, like, four words to this kid in the middle of the day. I'm like, hey, blah, 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 and then he's just fucking in the fucking smoke-filled zone, pumping out 400 videos a day. It's great. That's what we do here. Anyway, the moral of the story, though, guys, seriously, when we have so much more demand than supply, it really puts us investors in the driver's seat. It really allows us uh, to really reduce those statistical occurrences, right? Because you're, you're not going to be an anomaly of, like, the industry, right? Like, you're always going to deal with a relatively high tenant base. You're never going to be able to eliminate that risk, but you can mitigate it so much so that you're going to, like, increase those profits, right? Because the profits are already built into the industry, like this particular property, okay? Like, you've been looking at the footage. You could tell 
the current investor, right? They like renovated some of it and then they kind of stopped, right? You got to put like, I don't know, 20, 25K back into this thing, right? So you pick it up for 59, you put another 20 into it, right? What is that? That's 60, 70, that's $80,000, okay? $80,000, the 1% rule means you'd have to rent it for 800 bucks. You know what they say? They say if you rent a property at or above the 1% rule, you're going to make money, right? So 80K, $800 a month in rent, that should be mathematically successful as a rental property. But look at this one. This one's going to rent for $13.50, okay? So, like, the risk-reward thing is well built into the deal, and we're able to increase those profit margins even more because of how much more Section 8 demand there is here in Youngstown than supply. I'm hoping this is starting to make sense for you guys, right, because we have a huge opportunity right now. Once the, the demand and the supply even out, our margins are going to be squeezed. We're going to have less Section 8 applicants per property. We're going to have less of an ability to turn tons and tons of people away to find that one little diamond in the rough to mitigate those risks that like just normally happen with the Section 8 investment industry, right? That's why I'm so friggin' high right now on Youngstown. I think it makes a ton of sense. Not to mention this particular property. It's great because a lot of the bigger ticket items have been taken care of, right? This guy, he just he ran out of money, but he already did the big stuff, right? The furnace, the roof, right? Basically brand new. The outside looks pretty good. You just got to drop another 20, finish the inside, then you'll be rocking and rolling, man. This is like a solid bird deal, right? Bird deals are great. Why do I love bird deals so much? Because you get all your friggin' money back out, man. Think about it, right? Like normally you got to save up for like what, three, four, five, six years. You're working your job. You're saving up for three, four, five, six years to put down 25%. And then you start making money on rent, sure, but it still takes you three, four, five years to get another down payment, right? That's like your money being stuck in jail, man. Your money is in jail. When you could do these bird deals, you're getting your money out of jail because you're going to pull it all back out and roll it into the next deal and the next deal and the next deal. And that's how I made my millions in this industry. That's how you're going to make your millions. If that makes sense to you, send your offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Could be cash, could also be financed with some like hard money, commercial, uh, private money, those types of uh, deals, right? We're not going to be able to get a residential traditional mortgage on it right now. You'll be able to refi it out later, but you can do cash or some type of private money investment loan. Now, if you guys need lenders, I have those too. I told you guys earlier in the video, I've done $200 million worth of sales in these types of properties. So I have a massive Rolodex that I've built over the last decade plus doing this stuff. So if you want my lenders to hook you up with the rehab funds, just let me know. Sales at Holton Wise dot com and that's where you'll want to shoot your offer oh additionally if before shooting the offer you actually want to tour the property yourself bring your contractor in there so you could totally hammer out that scope of work to get this thing ready to go that's totally fine if you hit us up before five o'clock standard eastern standard time we'll get you in there same day if not next business day let's go uh. just that the united states of america is the greatest country on earth weird that they just left it hanging there though like how long has this been vacant yeah. why isn't it working do the thing do the thing doo, doo. wow thank you for your service thank you for might be the dumbest clip we've ever <laughs> this is definitely top 10 dumbest top 10. thing these vacant ones sometimes i feel like the walkthrough gets out of hand because i get distracted by fucking everything all right, so let's see. Sometimes we get lucky. Any needles up there? I did. I look at that. If mom, if you're watching this, I have gloves on today. <laughs> yeah, if you're like super into pallets, this is a property for you. There's like a hundred bucks for the pallets there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.